we have a few natural disasters in Alabama. We've had three tornadoes this year. Uh, about a year or so ago, we had a high school down in the Wiregrass region near Fort Bunker in southeastern Alabama. High school was killed. Eight young people, unfortunately, lost their lives. Uh, and where we put this tool to use was, uh, we had the imagery of what Enterprise High School looked like before the tornado. Sorry, Phil, I might keep going back and forth. Anyway. I'm probably going to worry. We, what, what the imagery looked like before the tornado. You'll see Enterprise High School here. Now, if, if you're a Homeland Security Director, you're, what's important to you are things that you control that you have at your fingertips. Uh, we have a pretty good relationship with the Civil Air Patrol, the Auxiliary to the Air Force. Uh, we purchased some Homeland Security cameras for them two or three years ago, and they will do anything you ask them to do. So we have imagery of Enterprise High School. The storm comes through. Within two or three hours, we contact the Civil Air Patrol and say, will you take the cameras that we purchased and fly the path of this tornado? So now we can take the before imagery of what Enterprise High School looked like before the tornado and superimpose what Enterprise High School looked like after the tornado. You can see that uh, the model. So Chris, do the scroll bar where we go before. This is what it looked like before, the area of the tornado. And this is what it looked like afterwards. So I've got irrefutable proof of the damage in our state. And you see those little yellow boxes? Let me tell you the way we do uh, disaster declarations in this country. Bubba drives around in a pickup truck and goes, yep, that was tore up pretty bad. It's probably going to cost, I don't know, maybe $75,000 to fix that. But we can click on a box and it'll tell you who owns the house and what it appraised for. Now, for you people that own houses in Washington, D.C., it's going to kill you to know that this building appraisal is $37,700. <laughs> uh, you're going to price high school, but th there's the house. Uh, and so that's what it looked like before the storm. So what did it look like afterwards? It's pretty irrefutable. They got torn up pretty badly. Uh, so now we're able very quickly to have accurate disaster declarations pushed up to FEMA within days or hours as opposed to weeks. We don't have to have people sitting and living in FEMA trailers forever. Okay, so that's a, that makes a pretty compelling argument for us. And we're in charge of what happens. We control the resources as long as our good friends at Civil Air Patrol will fly for you. We've had three hurricane or tornadoes just this year. Uh, and we use this each time. We'll show you one picture up in a rural area just because it's so neat. We call it the Wizard of Oz house. If you've ever seen this before, a house was completely lifted off of its foundation, not damaged, thrown into the woods about 250 yards. So yeah, so that's that's the Wizard of Oz house. So show them the before. You can see the before picture. And then how it was just picked up and moved. Uh, so he's got this one went over a swimming pool. I, I have yet to figure out uh, how this happened. But uh, but it's but just as far as uh, the tool and having irrefutable damage of what has occurred in your state, it's incredibly powerful for us. Uh, 